Section 101 of 15,000 Useful Phrases by Grenville Kleiser Read for LibriVox.org by Peter Darby on the 23rd of April, 2007 Laden with the poignant scent of the garden honeysuckle Language of excessive flattery and adulation Lapped in soft music of adulation. Lapse into pathos and absurdity. Large, dark, luminous eyes that behold everything about them. Latent vein of a whimsical humour. Lead to the strangest aberrations. Leaping from lambent flame into eager and passionate fire. Leave to the imagination the endless vista of possibilities. Life flowed in its accustomed stream. Lights and shadows of reviving memory crossed her face. Lionized by fashionable society long intertangled lines of silver streamlets lost in a delirious wonder lost in irritable reflection love hovered in her gaze ludicrous attempts of clumsy playfulness and tawdry eloquence lukewarm assurance of continued love lulled by dreamy musings luminous with great thoughts magnanimous indifference to meticulous niceties making the ear greedy to remark offence marching down to posterity with divine honours marked out for some strange and preternatural doom. Mawkishly effeminate sentiment. Memories plucked from wood and field. Memory was busy at his heart. Merged in a sentiment of unutterable sadness and compassion. Microscopic minuteness of eye, misgivings of grave kinds. Mockery crept into her tone, moulded by the austere hand of adversity. Moments of utter idleness and insipidity, moods of malicious reaction and vindictive recoil. Morn in yellow and white came broadening out of the mountains. Mumble only jargon of dotage. My body is too frail for its moods. Nature seemed to revel in unwanted contrasts. New ambitions pressed upon his fancy. New dreams began to take wing in his imagination. Night after night, the skies were wine-blue and bubbling with stars. Night passes lightly in the open world with its stars and dews and perfumes. Nights of fathomless blackness. No mark of trick or artifice. Noble and sublime patience. Nursed by brooding thought. Obsessed with the modishness of the hour. Occasional flashes of tenderness and love. 
oddly disappointing and fickle. One gracious fact emerges here. One long torture of soul. One of the golden twilights which transfigure the world. Oppressed and disheartened by an all-pervading isolation. Oppressed with a confused sense of cumbrous material. Outweighing years of sorrow and bitterness. Over and over the paroxysms of grief and longing submerged her. Overhung and overspread with ivy. Overshadowed by a vague depression. Pale and vague desolation. Pallor of reflected glories. Palpitating with rage and wounded sensibility. Panting after distinction. Peace brooded over all. Pelted with an interminable torrent of words. Penetrate beneath the surface to the core. Peopled the night with thoughts. Perpetual gloom and seclusion of life. Pertinent to the thread of the discussion. Pervasive silence which wraps us in a mantle of content. Piles of golden clouds just peering above the horizon. Platitudinous and pompously sentimental. Plaudits of the unlettered mob. Pleasant and flower-strewn vistas of airy fancy. Pledged with enthusiastic fervour. Plumbing the depths of my own fears. Poignant doubts and misgivings. Power of intellectual metamorphosis. Power to assuage the thirst of the soul. Precipitated into mysterious depths of nothingness. Preening its wings for a skyward flight. Pressing cares absorbed him. Pride working busily within her. Proclaimed with joyous defiance. Prodigal of discriminating epithets. Prodigious boldness and energy of intellect. Products of dreaming indolence. Profound and chilling solitude of the spot. Proof of his imperturbability and indifference. Provocative of bitter hostility. Pulling the strings of many enterprises. Purge the soul of nonsense. Quickened and enriched by new contacts with life and truth. Quivering with restrained grief. Radiant with the beautiful glamour of youth. Ransack the vocabulary. Red tape of officialdom. Redolent of the night lamp reflecting the solemn and unfathomable stars, regarded with an exulting pride, rehabilitated and restored to dignity, remorselessly swept into oblivion, resounding generalities and conventional rhetoric, respect forbade downright contradiction, Restless and sore, haughty feelings were busy within, 
retort leapt to his lips. Rigid adherence to conventionalities. Rudely disconcerting in her behavior. Rudely reminded of life's serious issues. End of section 101. This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Peter Darby of Rithin, Denbyshire, Wales.